What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jam league? Jameer Fan 2000 here. We got another episode of Jameer Fan Talks about. For the uninitiated in the series of nearly eight to nine years here on my Jameer Fan 2000 YouTube channel, this has been my periodic discussion series looking at the past, present, and future of Jameer Kwan. They're now over 31 years of musical making, and we're right about to enter into the ninth album era of Jameer Kwan sometime in 2025. So, very, very auspicious time that we are all living in, in these exciting times of the online jam league. But I thought I recorded an episode of Jameer Fan talks about to look back at the top 10 news items for the calendar year of 2024, which I just recently covered on my yearly year in review summary posts on the subreddits of the online Jamly and of course on my social media. And I thought I'd do a news item one by one of my top 10 news stories of Jameer Kwai in the calendar year of 2024. So let's get right into it. Coming in at number 10 on my list of the top 10 news items of Jameer in 2024, after several years inactive, former Jameer bassist, of course, Stuart Zender, well, he returned to playing live gigs along with his new band that he created by some of the amazing musicians in the country of Bali called The Fifth Dimensions on the island nation of Bali um, in the mid to a, uh, later part of 2024. And it's great to see uh, Stuart Zender coming back to making live music, given that j he had been in a bit of an inactive state making brand new music. But I'm sure that Stuart will be having Having some more new music in addition to what the band are his fellow band members over and Jamiroquai will be bringing us in 2025 as well. Then coming in number nine on my list of the top ten news items of 2024, Jamiroquai played their only live gig in the calendar year of 2024 at the Red Cross Charity Ball uh, Gala, or, or sorry, say Red Cross Charity Ball in the the country of Monaco in this in the fr uh, the French Riviera in mid July of 2024, and this would of course be Jamiroquai's only live gig that they did in the year of 2024, given they have been putting a heavy emphasis on getting the composition and the recording phases of the Jamiroquai album nine into fruition, and it looks like here in the last few months of 2024. This album might be getting into the mixing stages very, very soon, but very cool. Siege of Miracle, I kind of returning to doing some charity work, in this case, at the uh, charity ball for the, Red, uh, for the Worldwide Red Cross in the country of Monaco in July of 2024. And coming in at number 8 on my top 10 news items for Jamiroquai in the calendar year of 2024, four new official Jamiroquai remix sets from the li DJ likes of Enzo is Burning, Michael Gray, Dimitri from Paris, and Don Diablo were released throughout 2024 to the online Jamly, and these were some outstanding remixes from these four gentlemen, so if you get a chance to, be sure to go to the official, uh, go wherever you consume your live music, streaming music, and check out these four tremendous remixes from these four great DJs that came out throughout. 2024. Then coming in at number 7 on my list of the top 10 news items for 2024, Sola Kimbala, the percussionist of Jamiroquai, one of the longest tenured members of Jamiroquai. Well, he finally released here in the la to mid to lat part of 2024 his two-part solo album project that he'd been working on periodically over the last two to three years in between his commitments with Jamiroquai and other musical projects of a two-part new solo album project called How Should I Part 1. Well, that was released on music streaming and for pay download and is an absolutely stupendous album and massive props to Solo Kimbala and all the amazing, talented musicians who brought an absolutely amazing world music and a little bit of a precursor return of Jamiroquai's sound, or should I say Solo Kimbala, giving us a reminder of the amazing music that he's able to create on his own. So if you get a chance to check out Solo Kimbala's part one of How Should I that is now available on major streaming platforms, that was released in 2024. Then coming up on number six on my list of the top ten news items for Jamiroquai in the calendar year of 2024, uh, Jamiroquai did have a celebration this year, 2024, the 30th anniversary of the Magnus Opus album from 1994. Of course, I'm talking about the return of the Space Cowboy. Well, to celebrate that, they did reissue two of the classic music videos from that album era for the music videos for Help the Man and Space Cowboy. Well, much like the prior nearly 14 Jamiroquai music videos between the years of 2021 to 2023 that were remastered, um, mostly through uh, AI-assisted uh, ups scaling on YouTube of the official Jamiroquai YouTube channel. Both of those music videos were remastered into 4K and released on the official Jamiroquai YouTube channel to celebrate 30 years of the return of the Space Cowboy. Now we're coming up to the final five news items for Jamiroquai in the calendar year of 2024, starting at number five, with uh, Jamiroquai HQ and their online store releasing three massively, massively awesome merchandise drops throughout the year 2024. One at the beginning, of, one for the summer festival season of 2024, one for the 30th anniversary of uh, Jamiroquai's Return of the Space Cowboy, and of course some prior uh, album-centric uh, uh, releases that came out in the early part of 2024. And all that merchandise is available at the online Jamiroquai online store, even 
to this day here in the latter part of 2024 at store.jamiroquai.com. Then coming up on number four with the same relation of number five is that in the year of 2024, we had a major reissue of Jamiroquai's White's classic album, as aforementioned, from 1994, of The Return of the Space Cowboy. That was actually reissued in the latter part of 2024, a special 2LP Moon Dust Colored Vinyl edition for its 30th anniversary, and it's now available at all major music retailers all around the world. Then coming in at number three is yet another news items related to former Jamiroquai bassist Stuart Zender, a very good friend of mine. Well, he just, in addition to coming back to the live arena in the country of Bali in July of 2024, we saw Stuart Zender, uh, as of the last few months of 2024, bring back some of his classic singles from his musical project that was one of his future projects that was post from him leaving uh, Jamiroquai, unfortunately, back in 1998, of his band called Leroy. Uh, two singles from between the 2000 to 2003 period but had finally hit music streaming and I'm going to send a massive props to Stuart Zender and all the amazing musicians that comprise the Leroy Music Project are finally released these singles onto all major streaming platforms. Then coming in at number two on my top 10 news items of 2024 for Jamiroquai, we finally had Jamiroquai with lots of updates from Instagram and many other social media platforms. The band members of Jamiroquai finally confirming it, and we had two great videos from JK himself in the studio, hinting that the finally we've gotten into final composition and recording work for the ninth yet-to-be-titled Jamiroquai album, which will optimistically, and has been confirmed by several band members and their management, that to be coming out in the calendar year of 2025. And finally, my number one news item for the year of 2024 for Jamiroquai and the band members of Jamiroquai and everything about Jamiroquai, of course, is the, the, the mentioned and announced that really got the Jamly really excited about the ninth album era for Jamiroquai. That will be hard starting in 2024. We have the announcement of a 15 tour date a slew coming at, come between Europe and the UK to be happening in the months of November to December of 2025. That's right, a year on, so they're kind of taking a little page out of the Oasis reunion book that happened in the earlier part of 2024, which they pretty much sold every tour date for that reunion tour. Well, Jamiroquai announced the name of their new tour that will be coming up to 2025 that will be most likely supporting their ninth album effort that will be coming out sometime in 2025 called the Heels of Steel Tour Heels of Steel Tour 2025 which I said um, aforementionally will be in the, the parts of the world of Europe and of course the UK and tickets have gone on sale and they are still readily available. At least general tickets are on sale. They did do a pre-sale in the latter part of November 2024, but those pre-sale tickets blew like hot cakes. So the original tour was supposed to be only 14 tour dates, but due to the high popularity and the high demand for these tickets to see Jamiroquai live in 2025, the Heels of Steel tour, they added a second night to the O2 Arena, very, very similar to what they did in the year of 2017 when um, their first Automaton tour sold out very quickly. They ended up doing two dates at the O2 as well. But that is all 10 news items for the year of 2024 that I, could, uh, I ended up reporting all year year and um I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jamira Fan Talks About. And if you get a chance to, if you'd like to look back as I talked, as I preface the beginning of this episode of Jamira Fan Talks About, if you'd like to look back at everything that's happened with Jamira Quay over the last calendar year of 2024, I did my traditional year in review of the year 2024 for Jamira Quay on the subreddits on, of the online Jamly and my social media. So if you'd like to check out that very expansive uh, uh, year in review for Jamira Quay in 2024, I'll be sure to put a link to that um, that that very very expanded uh, year in review for Jamira Quay. I have everything happening from fan art to music to everything you need to know down in the description area of this episode of Jamiro Fan Talks about down below. So be sure to check out all that goodness in your own time. And if any more news comes out, I'll be sure to cover here on future videos here on the Jamiro Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Um, I want to send a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting my content throughout the calendar year of 2024. You are greatly appreciated, and I'm very humbled that so many people have come to my channel over the last nearly, I want to say, two years watching my channel balloon past a thousand and members up to nearly 1,500 subscribers of the uh, of the social media jamly watching my videos with a regularity. I really do appreciate all your support, and I'd like to send a big thank you to everybody at Virgin EMI, Vir Universal Music, Jamaica Wine Limited, and, and the band has been nothing but supportive of all my content over the last nearly, like I said, eight to nine years on YouTube, producing content, helping keep everybody in the online jamly informed, and especially in these exciting times of the ninth album era, it's
It's been very, very reassuring, and I do appreciate everybody from all the band members of Jamiroquai and all the opportunities that have been afforded to me in this fan base to help keep everybody informed. And I look forward to keeping you all informed into the ninth album cycle as we go through the holiday season into 2025. And massive thank you to everybody. If you like what you see on my YouTube channel, be sure to like it, subscribe, and ding the bell on your YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest new content coming from the Jamiro Fan 2000 YouTube channel. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the online family who celebrates that holiday in addition to Christmas and, of course, New Year's. But as always, this is Jamiro Fan 2000, and I'll see you really soon with more content here on the Jamiro Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Bye-bye, everybody, and take care.